how do you buy tokens at cheaper prices using Jupiter's limit order system? I'll show you that in a second, but first let's have a quick look at St. Pump's tweet. So St. Pump is a trader and you can basically see that he has different areas where he thinks Sol could potentially go to. So as an example, like $114, this is a box, like 114 to maybe 125, something around that is where we could be putting in some bids. Currently, Sol's at $142. If this fails and breaks 120, then it could dip down to about $95. If for some reason that fails, it could come all the way down to like $80. So if we keep this in mind, let's go to dupe.ag and let's set some actual bids. So dupe.ag, go and connect your wallet as per normal, Soul Flare, connect. Then go to limit order, and then we need to select what we're selling. So we're going to sell some USD coin, but you can sell whatever you like and what we're buying. So if we start with something that's really, really low, we could put in something like $85. That's currently 40% less than our current price. Then we can have an expiry. So as an example, 30 days, maybe a little bit longer. When we go to custom, we've only got hours and minutes. So we need to pull out the calculator and work out how long, say 365 days is. So 365 times 24, 8,700. So if we did like 8,800 hours set period, that's basically a year. And then what did we want to buy? Maybe we wanted to buy, well, it depends how much USDC you have. But for this, maybe 20 maybe a little bit more, maybe like 50. I don't have much to play with, but we'll go there. There is a 0.1% fee that goes to Jupiter. We'll place the limit order. You only pay for that fee if this is actually executed. So if you withdraw because you, you know, market conditions change, you will not have to pay that fee. So we'll set one there really, really low. We could even set some actual proper stink bids. So like I want to buy $10 worth of soul at $10 expiry one year, right? That's unlikely to fill. Of course, it's so unlikely to fill, but sometimes you may want to do it. You could even do it lower. What we're probably going to do though is something like 105. I'm just going to add $10 just, just because this is a demonstration. That's down, to, that's down 26%. We go 110, place a limit order and approve. 115, let this load, place a limit order and approve. And we could go 120, but we could also go maybe like 95 place a limit order and approve. We can change the expiry. We can have like no expiry. Uh, let's do one more. We'll go at $98. Generally, if we have a look at this, if there's an actual zone, if you're bullish on something, you may want to go slightly higher than that zone. So if you think the bottom could come down to like 114, maybe you go 115, 116, something like that as a bit of an example. But these are just stink bids. And if they don't hit, then we can just withdraw them. I'm going to change this to uh, no, you know, I'll change this to 30 day and place a limit order. So now we've got all of these orders sitting in here. When they're actually executed, we'll see them in the order history. And if they don't execute, then we can just go and close them and get back our USDC. We can also do this with any other token. So if we're really bullish on Bonk, we could go and grab Bonk and we can work out uh, a lower level, like, you know, a really uh, much lower level. However, we can't just go and click a price and then get that price. So we actually have to change things here. So as an example, $10 is going to buy $10 right now. We put another zero there. It's going to buy $100. It would have to fall that much. So maybe we want to go and change this to like, I don't know, falling 63%, placing a limit order. I don't think that's going to be a real thing that's going to happen, but nonetheless, we can approve this. If we also want to sell things in the future, we could go and change this. I want to sell, say, uh, Let's go with 1 million bonk. I want to sell 1 million bonk at a much higher rate. Maybe that's at a 10x. Maybe we want to change it so it's a little bit more than a 10x or quite a bit more. Something like that. We can go and set that order. Place a limit order. And then as long as it doesn't just kind of touch that, because if it just touches that, Jupiter may not be able to execute it. If it manages to sit in that range for, I'm not sure how long, maybe a few seconds, a few minutes, not entirely sure then we should have a pretty good chance of that actually being executed. Basically, this has to go via order books and stuff like that. It's not as good as, say, a centralized system like Binance, but it's decentralized. It does work very, very well. The other thing we may want to do is we may want to take a little bit of... We could take Sol, but I would prefer to use Jito Sol. I don't have any Jito Sol here. So we'll quickly grab a little bit of Jito Sol just with uh, my USDC into Jito Sol. The reason why 
we're grabbing Jiro Soul or maybe another state soul version is because at least we're getting some value right now. We're actually getting some staking rewards from the soul. Now, of course, go and stake the soul with validator.com. But if you want a liquid staking version, Jiro Soul, M Soul, things like that could be well worth having. So we go and grab our Jiro Soul. We could use normal soul as well, of course. And now we may think, okay, I want to put something there just in case it happens. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars, that's literally um, a 5x from now. So we're going to turn basically $15 into $100. Maybe a little bit higher because Jiro Soul is actually worth more than normal soul. $15 into that, basically a 10x. Uh, I'm just going to go with a thousand to be honest. Then we go and place it limit order. Then let's make sure we've changed this to say um, one year or something like 10,000 hours. Set the period 416 days because we don't want to necessarily have the expiry forever, but that's in there for 416 days because who knows in 10 years, the cost of soul may be $10,000 and we, we didn't want to sell it accidentally at a thousand. But for this cycle, selling at a thousand dollars, that would be a very decent return in my opinion. Anyway, that's how you use Jupyter Limit Orders. I do love Jupyter Limit Orders, probably my favorite tool about Jupyter. And by the way, if you're using Soulflare Mobile, you can also use Limit Orders directly from within your Soulflare Mobile app. That's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, like it. If you loved it, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.